I was a gang member. I, was, I participated in a variety of things. My crime is first degree murder and I've been down 15 years. I was uh, into drugs. I was a gangbanger. Since I came to this place, it's, it's really opened my eyes. You know, I feel better because it's something different that I'm doing. The skills I learned here in cosmetology changed my life. And you walk through two gates as you come through. One opens, it closes, you walk through another, and you walk through the barbed wire. So you are walking into a prison every day. Oh, glasses on or glasses off, although I can't see without them. I'm a cosmetology career technical instructor here at Valley State Prison. I did hair for 18 years, licensed cosmetologist. I was on, on, on in a salon. I started teaching here in October of 2006. The very first day I started, so I came around the corner and saw all the inmates, and I was like, what did I get myself into? I was interested in cutting hair, and since they don't have a barber school here, and they offer cosmetology, I figured it's, you know, uh, it'll be almost the same. Being here, I learned that it's a lot different, and uh, I like it, I enjoy doing what we do. You walk inside and it's a full-on salon out there, a full school. They have to do 1,600 hours, which is required by the state. That includes practical, which is hands-on, and theory, which is the textbook and testing that way. It encompasses hair cutting, coloring, perming, acrylic nails, pedicuring, manicuring, the gels, all the skincare line. I was kind of living a dysfunctional lifestyle back then. Um, it wasn't until a few years ago that I started getting everything in order for myself. I learned how to cut hair, uh, do nails, do perms. I learned a variety of things up in this class. I love doing the acrylics. The nails, um, I got pretty good at it. In a prison aspect, everybody thinks, oh, it's a bunch of uh, homosexuals. But little by little, people start coming because they see not, not everybody's like that or the ones that they are, they're good people, you know what I'm saying? We're all people in here. At first, I think it's very difficult for them, but after a time, they, they get over it. I like nails. I like the skill involved. I like the artistic freedom. It was easy to become defensive at first, but then after a while, once my skill grew, it was a point of pride. Inmates are not supposed to touch staff. We're not supposed to even be too close to them, uh, not, getting, not getting too familiar with them. But throughout the course of time, I was able to do that in a professional manner. I work here at Valley State Prison for about a year now. I felt a little uneasy in the beginning, but now I'm, it's pretty comfortable. And this is what I had done today was the French tip with the gels. Here it does give the inmates an opportunity to practice on us. So I think it's good for the real rehabilitation process. It's like a, a break from prison in that the people who come in here, whether they be staff or inmates, they don't treat us like we're used to being treated. During that time, you are free for that moment. You're doing the exact same thing that someone in this school on the street would be doing. It's a whole different experience. He, he won't be mad. Yeah, man. This is the manicure, what I got. After I did the pedicure, I'm not gonna take my shoes off. Are you happy? But <laughs> Are you happy with the result? It looks good. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but it <laughs> looks good. <laughs> it looks real good. It looks real good. Prison can be very segregated for the men. And so when they come in here, they all work together. All races are together. There are no, those racial boundaries don't ex exist. I'm from Southern California, and I'm in here working with people from Northern California, which in the prison system, as a gang member, that's, uh, uh, those are basically like your rivals, you know, up north and down south, that, that's a battle. But in here, I'm working with everybody, and, you know, uh, uh, I've got to meet some, some very good people, you know. The most rewarding thing was uh, the interaction with others. In my classroom, there's lots of mirrors, and I had even more mirrors put in when I got here, so that I can see anything and everything. I do not know what they're in prison for. I don't read the files because I do not want to have a negative or uh, preconceived 
image of who they are. I'm not here to punish them. I'm not here to teach them a skill. So I want to start with a clean slate and then go from there. I really don't want to get too much into the, um, to my past life. Um, I can't tell you I was a gang member. I was a gang member. I, was, I participated in a variety of things. I was active for almost 18 years. I believed I would die that way. I always knew I would come to prison. Um, I just didn't know for how long. So when it did happen, um, I didn't realize I was going to get three life sentences. I was uh, into drugs. I was a gangbanger. Criminal life, you know, whatever, whatever it is, by any means. I'm here in prison for voluntary manslaughter. My crime is first degree murder and I've been down 15 years. I have a possibility for parole um, in about six and a half years. I was a minor when I committed my crime. So um, I was never supposed to go home. There is a possibility, is it gonna happen? I don't know. I, I've taken the necessary steps to work on myself. However, it's not up to me. My comfort zone is a, a criminal life. You know, uh, whatever that, you know, carries. And in here, you're so far from that, that it shows you a different, uh, a different you, a different me. It showed me a different me, you know, personally. Carmen is a great person. She's a very good teacher. To be an instructor in prison with inmates, it takes some, uh, uh, some patience. On a personal level, she's helped me out a lot. She treated me like this didn't exist. I, I would peg the moment of my change beginning when I stopped thinking like a criminal and started thinking more how I could be better and better once I became her student in here. I know that I've had five pass and I know two of them are working with their license right now under that scope as cosmetologists and stylists and salons. <laughs> You know, I feel better because it's something different that I'm doing, and it, it's, I've uh, bettered myself through it. My career goal uh, for after I leave, my short-term goal is to be licensed, and my long-term goal would be to uh, own my own uh, salon or spa. The skills I learn here in cosmetology changed my life by making me a more whole person. Since I've came to this place, it's, it's really opened my eyes. As a kid, I was misled. There was a lot of hate. That lifestyle back then, it was just much different. My expectation is to be a, a law-abiding citizen and to be able to help others, especially the kids. I just want to give back now. <laughs>